Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. I got a short video for you guys today. Uh, it's not going to really go too much into depth. Um, this is going to be a video for helping you set up your server. This is assuming that you already have your 5M server set up and you're looking to figure out how to put resources into your server. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Uh, I'm only going to go over uh, standalone type resources. Uh, they're pretty much the easiest. This is going to be like a base video into getting you started into putting resources into your 5M server. Um, thinking about doing a giveaway on the channel. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away a server. I'm going to set up a server for you. Uh, it's not going to go really too in-depth. It's going to be a pretty basic server, but nonetheless, it's going to be a server that's already set up for you and started. That way you can add any scripts and stuff like that that you want. Um, what I need you to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and there somewhere during the video there's going to be, uh, let's say, a secret word. Um, and you'll know whenever I say the secret word during the video. Um, comment that word down below in the comments. That way I know you watched at least up until that point. Uh, but without any further ado, let's get started. Um, so you go into your server. Open up your server.cfg, your server configuration. Go ahead and just minimize it. Um, you're going to need that later. You're going to have a folder. It's called resources. You're going to go in there. Personally, uh, for your standalone scripts and stuff like that, I recommend you make a folder that says scripts. Make sure you put brackets, open and close brackets around the word scripts. Um, pretty much make that folder, go into that folder. That's where you're going to put all your resources at. Uh, for this video, I'm going to go to forum.5m.net. You can go to resource development and modding, and then go to releases. Um, I'm going to go standalone resource. Standalone. Jeez, I can't spell this morning. Uh, let's go with the very first one. Fixture gel. Uh, this is DOJ's gel script. No longer DOJ. Okay. This guy's releasing DOJ's gel script. He is the original author. So it's not stolen from somebody else. Nothing like that. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, you want to go to the releases page. Um, whenever you come to one of these resources, you might it might load you in way down here in the comments somewhere. Um, what you want to do is just take this slider and slide it all the way to the top. Uh, go to your releases pages. Assets. Or sometimes it will pop up by itself over here. Uh, go to assets, fixturegel.zip. That's going to download it. Minimize that. I'm going to take it to my desktop. Close out of this. I want to extract the resource. This is the resource itself. I want to extract that. Now, always read the README. Simply drag and drop fixture gel folder into your resource folder and start the resource. That's pretty much the way most standalone resources are. Um, there's not a whole lot of, they have to work with another resource in order to work and you have to set them up in the server config. There are some that within the server config you have to set up ace commands, stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that. That's, that's more of an in-depth type thing. Uh... So I've got my resource, it's extracted onto my desktop. So I go into my server, simply going to drag this resource right into my resources folder. This is where your server config is really going to come into, into play. So the way I've got my server config set up, uh, these are the resources that are going to start by default. These are all the ones that you're going to have right here. These are already going to be in your server config. Now just hit enter, enter twice, and then this is where you're going to put all your resources, all your scripts, right there. Now, if you've got weapons and stuff, you're going to leave another spade, leave another line open, and then have all your weapons and stuff right there. And then I do the same thing for my vehicles. This, it, it cleans up your server config. 
That way you know exactly where your scripts are. You can even put in there, um, instead of having start your Remington 870 on line 37, you could put a, oh, what is it? Like this. And then dash dash. And you could do weapons. Okay, and then, whoop, wrong key, like that. And then you could start your resources down below that. Now with resources, you wanna make sure start is always gonna be all lowercase. That is always gonna be the case. Um, with these, these are the actual resource names. You want them to be spelled the exact same as they are in your resource. But these are my resources right here. So start. And the easiest way to do this, if you have a bad memory or you can't remember. Uh, come on. There it is. Copy and paste. Just like that. Now you make sure you save it. And you're ready to go. You're, that, the jail is now in your server. Um pretty easy setup it's not too hard at all a lot of people like to overthink it um, really don't it's it's really simple it's really straight to the point I'm gonna show you the resource actually working in 5m itself Oh, my resident is not encrypted. So I have to go and encrypt my resident.rpf. It won't take long. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick as well, too, I guess, while I'm at it. Um, mods, x64, audios, SFX. Go to my resident. Pull that out. And I bet my weapons player is not, because I have a custom siren and custom gun sounds in. You have archive fix. Um, if you don't know where to get it, just go to Google. Type in archive fix GTA 5, and you should be able to find it. Uh, you want to have it set up just the way I have it right here. And you take your resident, you drag it over, open with archive fix. This little black box is going to pop up. You're one of these people. Press any key to exit. Got it. Same thing with the weapons player. Any key to exit. Got it. Now, that's in my mods folder. You also want to take and go to your X64. Your regular, not the one that's not in your mods folder. Go to your X64 audio SFX. Drag those in there. Now, both of your files are encrypted. I'm going to put those in my backup files. And close that. Now I can go back into 5M. Now this will be a little bit different if you're working with Zap hosting or somewhere. The, the way you get into your server will be different, but Overall, it'll be pretty much the exact same way. Come on. It's 
Starting game. Um. Now, when you get in game, the jail should be bowling broke. Yeah, as you can see on the mini map to the left, you can see the little key. That is the jail. Let's go up here and see if it works. It might not work because I'm not in. Oh, there it is. There we go. See? And DOJ jail is in here. Um, like I said, guys, this is from DOJ themselves, but this is a public release on forums so it is not illegally obtained or stolen anything like that it's it's released by the original creator so there's no problem in putting it into your server you did not maintain it by illegal means um that's how you get in here close out of that but yeah guys that right there is oh i don't like that it's got a it leaves a little thing on your screen. Um, anyways, that, that I made that maybe that's a bug with it. I can't talk today either. Apparently, it is pretty early in the morning. Um, but anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, you want a more in-depth video, make sure you comment. Leave that down below. Um, like I said. Listen for that secret word. You're going to know what it is. I'm probably going to pause the video and tell you what it is. Um, like. Comment the secret word. Subscribe. Post notifications on. Once you do that, you're in the, you're in the drawing for uh, a server that I set up for you personally. I'll hand it over to you for free. Only thing you'll have to do is you'll have to go to keymaster.5m.net and get you a, a key code set up for it according to your profile and that'll be pretty much all you'll have to do oh somebody sounds like they're getting raped that's awesome um but yeah that's pretty much it guys uh until next time i guess i'll see you guys around peace